We're doing Jasper Active Word 2019 Lesson 2, Exercise Selecting Text. If this is the first time you're doing it, you're going to click on Learn. Otherwise, you'll click on the Practice button. Once this loads, we're going to see we have three steps. Our first step is selecting consecutive text. We're going to use a keyboard shortcut to open up a document so that it says press Control and O, and then navigate to our Resources Files folder and open the Corporate Profile document. All right, so remember when you're working in Jasper Active, we're working in two programs, both Jasper Active and Word. Anytime we want to do a keyboard shortcut, we have to make sure we activate Word, so clicking on it then our keyboard shortcut will work. So I'm going to press and hold the control key, tap the letter O, and there I am in the open screen. I'm going to browse, and then I'm going to find my Jasper Active folder and into my name and resource files. There's the document I'm looking for, so I'll double click that one. And then it asks us to try selecting a few words to become familiar with how to select text. So selecting text just means we're selecting specific text. Um, it looks like we're putting a highlight on it, but really we're just making sure that we're selecting specific text. So if I wanted to do any changes, it would only change that text, not all of the text. This is good for copying and pasting or if I want to change the style of my text. There's a few, ways, a few ways to select text. So we can, if we want to select just one word, we can double click on it. So it tells us to double click the word Tolano in the first paragraph. So we're looking at this word right here. And if I double click my mouse, it's going to select just that word. If I press and hold the shift key, so I still have this selected, I'm pressing and holding the shift key, and then I'm going to click at the end of this sentence, you'll see that it will select everything from the word that I had selected before to the very end. It can be a little tricky to get that period selected, so just be real careful. I just kept my finger on the shift key the whole time. Now when we use the shift key, we select consecutive text. That's text that's right next to each other. That's all we needed to do for step one. I'm going to select mark as answered and go to step two, which is selecting non-consecutive text. Now, one thing I want you to notice, once I went over here and clicked into my uh, instruction panel, my selection looks like it disappeared. But if I click back over here, oh, it was there. It was there for a second, but then I clicked out of it. So once again, I have the selected when I click on my instruction panel, you see it looks like it has disappeared. But if I click back into Word, there it is again. All right, for step two, we're going to press the control key and then drag the cursor to select the text that says, we work with a number of international vendors and are always looking for new and exciting adventures. So I'm keeping this selection the way I have it, but I'm going to press and hold the control key. Now I have to go and find this text. It is right here in our third paragraph. So press and hold the control key, click and drag. We're going to select the entire first sentence. So what you're going to see has happened here. Just let me try that again. It can be a little bit tricky to get the feel for how to select text in this way. Um, it takes some practice to get your fingers and your hands to kind of work in the, the way they're supposed to. But you'll notice that what I have going on now is this selection is selected and then this text is also selected, but nothing in between them. Using the control key allows me to select non-consecutive text or text that's not next to each other. So if I wanted to change this line and this line, uh, maybe I wanted to change it to a different font or underline it or bold it, I could do just the text that is selected. All right, we're going to keep holding. I've, I've let go of the control key, and you can too, but I'm going to press it again. 
Press and hold the control key, and in the paragraph after the first set of bullets, so here's our bullets right here, we're going to click and drag to select the words, we will also review a tour. All right, so I'm going down below the bullets, and then in this paragraph right here, I can see it says, occasionally, we will also review a tour. Now, it doesn't want me to select all of this text. It only wants me to select the words, we will also review a tour. So I'm going to press and hold my control key, put my cursor right at the beginning of the word we, and then click and drag. All right, so you can see that we could select, it doesn't have to be at the beginning of a paragraph, we can select any text we want using that control key. So now we should have three pieces of text selected. One, two, three. And what we're going to do is click anywhere in the document to deselect our text. So we're going to just click in any blank space, and now you'll see it's all deselected. Now, if you've done that inadvertently, you can sometimes use the, the undo button and it will reselect your text for you. It's not working for me right now. But that's okay, I don't really need to do that. We're going to click Mark as answered on step two and go to step three. All right, for step three, we're going to select text and images. So select the paragraph that starts with we will we review all of our tours annually and ends with of bookings and environmental impact. All right, so I'm going to scroll down until I can find that. It's right here where it says we review all of our tour, tours annually. And then of bookings and environmental impact, that's actually at the end of this bullet point right here. So I'm going to put my cursor here. I'm just going to click and drag because I want to select everything from one point to the other. There we go. Almost got it. Almost got it. Again, it can be really tricky to get your mouse to sometimes work exactly how you want it and not get those extra spaces. But there we go. I've selected a bulleted list. And then it wants us to try selecting an image. So it says, now try selecting the picture to show how these items can be selected in the same manner as text. So I'm going to go up to the top. Manipulating images requires a different process than manipulating text, but you still need to select the items to be changed prior to making any changes. So I can click and drag over this image, and you'll see that it selects it just like text. I'm going to click outside to deselect the previous item. So it says click anywhere in the document. I can also select by clicking right on it and there I see the handles. So there's a couple of different ways to select an image. All right, so I've deselected all of my items. I'm now gonna press and hold the control key and then press the home key to move my cursor to the top of the document. All right, so having my cursor somewhere in here and if you don't, if it's already at the top, just move it down to the bottom. Press and hold control and then tap the home key. The home key usually lives somewhere near the end key, so in that upper right hand section of our keyboard. And now you can see that my cursor went all the way up to the top right there. Now I'm going to click the image to select it. So I showed you this a minute ago. There are now eight handles around here that show up. And those handles enable you to control options for the selected image. And we'll talk about that in later activities. But just showing you the multiple ways that you can select it. Make sure you click on this so that you get the handles. And then deselect that image. So again, just clicking somewhere outside of in the blank space is great. And then we're going to close the document without saving. So I'm just going to use the X. There we go. Mark has answered and submit.